Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Kathleen Hart here from the Low Piece of Heart cooking blog. This is a channel devoted to low carb living, low carb recipes, anything that I can share with you while I'm on my journey. Also too, the full recipe is going to be linked in the description box below. It's a link that goes right to my blog. You can click on it, get the full ingredients list, how to make it, couple cool pictures, and also tons of other recipes. This recipe is a serving of one. So everything that I'm gonna show you today is what I'm gonna have for lunch. This is one serving, and I think it's perfect. If you need more servings, just double it, triple it, you know the drill, whatever you need to do. It's barely even a recipe because I'm sure this is online everywhere. I'm not claiming this is like something I invented. Like, no, this is just how I like to make my garlic butter chicken pasta. And I actually use zoodles in this recipe, but use any kind of pasta you like, use any kind of vegetable spirals that you like, whatever floats your boat. I actually love making this when it's not low carb, like with actual pasta, it's just to die for. But I'm gonna try a different way of filming this for you guys. I usually kind of pan over all the ingredients and say what they are, but I wanna change it up. So here we go, we're changing it up. Okay, star of the show. Two small zucchinis. As you can see, they're pretty small. I mean, you know, just in comparison to my hand. And this is gonna be about, I'm hoping for about two cups of zucchini noodles. That I feel is like the perfect size portion for me for a lunch or a dinner. If you need more, make more. And then to spiralize these, I just cut the end off put it into my little spiralizer, which I will link down below if you are interested in purchasing one for yourself. This is very cheap, very affordable, Amazon Prime. They also have them at Walmart and Target, but I definitely recommend these if you plan on making zucchini noodles, you know, more than one time. Then we have chicken. Now, I have my chicken right here. It is already uh, prepared for me. All I did was uh, grill it. So I have grilled chicken already ready. I'm going to be using three ounces as my portion. And if you guys are following me, um, I switched up my diet a little bit just to briefly tell you what I did. I am lowering my protein amounts that I'm eating because when I eat too much protein, I have side effects from an imbalance of histamines. So if you didn't already watch that video or I explain it a little bit more, I will put it in a, um, a link above here and I will also link it down below if you wanna learn a little bit more about why I changed my diet. But I'm gonna be using three ounces of chicken. That is perfect for me right now. So that's what I'm doing. I already have it prepared. You can use rotisserie chicken. Also, if you don't wanna go out and prepare, this works great in this recipe. Just make sure that you have it all chopped up and ready to go. And also too, I just wanted to mention real quick, this is the scale that I use. I feel like it looks like it screams like, I don't know, like 1980 or something. But I literally just bought this not that long ago. Um, when I started on low carb, like, for the 17th time, like two years ago. I bought it from Walmart. I will link it down below. They actually have it on Amazon Prime now, so you could get it in two days. It's amazing. I don't, see, I don't know. I'm not a fan of digital things. Lately, I've had such bad luck with anything digital, so I'm sticking with this, where you can calibrate it to the bin that's on top, or you can just put, you know, take it off, and then recalibrate it, and then just put a glass on here, whatever you need to do. So, this is perfect, but I'll link it down below. Zucchini, chicken, olive oil. You're also going to need some butter. I'm using Kerrygold unsalted butter. I mentioned it in a previous video. It's a must have in my kitchen. Love it. Salt and pepper, definitely need those. I'm using pink Himalayan sea salt and full black peppercorns and these grinders do all the work for me. So that's perfect. Crushed red pepper flake. This is an optional thing, but I'll take all the flavor I can get. What else is in the name? Garlic. This is like an amazing head of garlic that I found at Wegmans. The, I can tell the cloves are gonna be huge. I love garlic. If you're not a huge garlic person, definitely scale back on the number of garlic cloves that I'm gonna be using today. I'm going to hold this up. This is fresh mozzarella cheese. It was a ball that I cut in half from my grocery store. I'm going to be using a little bit of that on top and that just, again, elevates the dish. It's a low carb staple. It's, it's fresh mozzarella. Ugh, does it get better than that? I don't think so. So in this recipe, I actually have a block of parm that I bought from the grocery store. It was not cheap. It was not cheap. However, it was on sale, so I would definitely recommend grabbing a big block of parm like this, grating it when you need it, and keeping it in a resealable plastic bag in your fridge. So those are all the ingredients. I'm gonna go over to the stove. I'm gonna show you how to put this all together. Again, 
full recipe, all the ingredients, everything is in the link down below. So don't forget to click that if you want that recipe and many other recipes as well. But without further ado, let's get over there. Let's start assembling this whole meal because mama's starving. To a cold skillet, add your olive oil. Turn the heat on to medium and add in your butter, garlic, and crushed red pepper flake if you're using them. At the last minute, I decided to add in a pinch of dried oregano. And you're gonna stir this around and let the garlic soften and warm through. This will infuse the oil with all of the flavors we just added to it. Then you're gonna add in your cooked chicken. Stir that around and let that warm through. Then you're going to pop in your zucchini noodles or any pasta of your choice. Do a sprinkling of pink Himalayan sea salt and some fresh cracked black pepper. And then you're gonna give this a nice toss to get all those flavors onto every bit of those noodles. Then I'm gonna add in the rest of my butter. Give that a stir, let it melt. And I like to put it in the middle of the skillet, just in like a little pile like that. And then I'm gonna add my fresh mozzarella right on top and you're gonna pop a lid on this and let this cook and let the cheese melt and it'll take about three minutes. Lastly, right before serving, I like to grate some fresh grated Parmesan cheese right on top. All right guys, I have my lunch plate right here. I know you can't see it, I just showed you what it looked like, but I'm gonna go ahead and take a bite. And I want to get a good bite. I want to get everything. Everything. Look at that. Oh my gosh. It's like staring me right in the face. It's a stare down. Wow. Okay. That is delicious. It's buttery. It's garlicky. It's not heavy. That zucchini just wakes it right up. Oh my gosh, uno momento. This caramelized garlic on the bottom is so delicious. Mm. I'm not gonna lie guys, this tastes like I put a whole lot more effort into this meal than I actually did. You have to try it. Mm. And it's so easy. Only a couple of ingredients. That's all she wrote. That's all she wrote. If you guys make this recipe, let me know how you like it. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Please subscribe if you are new. Here's my new journey. We're all on it. Get on, come on. Get on the bus. Get in the back. We're on the cat heart journey. Low carb journey. I'm so happy that you decided to click on this video today. I hope that I've given you some happiness and positivity and a little brightness in your day. And I hope you go on to spread it to someone else. So with all that said, I'm gonna eat my lunch and I will check in with you guys very shortly and I'll see you in my next video. Bye everybody.